together, did you? Pull yourself together. Oh. It's just water. It's a lot of water. Water. Okay, boss? Yeah, I'm fine. I just, uh, I just can't, can't stomach the water. So you're my new partner. That's right. Not the best way to meet with my head halfway down the toilet. Doesn't exactly square with Teddy Daniels, the man, the legend, I'll give you that. A legend? What the hell you boys smoking over there in Portland anyway? Seattle. I came from the office in Seattle. How long you been with the Marshals? Four years. So you know how small it is. Sure. What about you? You got a girl? Me? I was. She died. Jesus, I, I don't... Don't worry about it. There was a fire at the apartment building while I was at work. Four people died. It was a smoke that got her, not the fire, so that's... That's important. I'm sorry, boss. Oh, my goddamn cigarettes. Oh, yeah. I have one of mine. I could have sworn they were in my jacket before I got home. Government employees arrived and flying. Thanks. Give you a briefing about the institution before you left. All I know is it's a mental hospital. For the criminally insane. <laughs> well, if it's just folks running around hearing voices and chasing after butterflies, they wouldn't need us. So where we're headed? Yep. The other side of the island is Rock Bluffs all the way down to the edge of the water. The dock, it's the only way on, or off. We'll be casting off as soon as you two are ashore. I'd appreciate it if you'd hurry up about it. Why? Storm's coming. Never seen a marshal's badge before. I'm Deputy Warden McPherson, gentlemen. Welcome to Shutter Island. I'll be the one taking you up to Ashcliff. Boys seem a little on edge, Mr. McPherson. Right now, Marshal, we all are.
You gentlemen will be accorded all the help we can give. But during your stay, you will obey protocol. Is that understood? Absolutely. The red brick building on your right is Ward A, the male ward. Ward B, the female ward, is the one on your left. Ward C is that building on the bluffs, an old Civil War fort. The most dangerous patients are housed there. Admittance to Ward C is forbidden without the written consent and physical presence of both myself and Dr. Cawley. Is that understood? You act like insanity is catching. You are hereby required to surrender your firearms. Mr. McPherson, we, we are duly appointed federal marshals. We are required to carry our firearms with us at all times. Executive Order 319 of the Federal Code of Penitentiary states that when inside a penitentiary, the officers of that institution have final authority. Gentlemen, you will not get through this gate with your firearms. Okay. Now that the official stuff's done, come on, boys. What do you say we go find Dr. Cawley? When did she escape, this prisoner? I'm afraid Dr. Cawley will have to fill you in on the situation. Protocol. Correctional officers at a mental institution. That's a weird sight, if you don't mind me saying. It's the only facility of its kind in the US, even the world. We take only the most dangerous damaged patients, ones no other hospital can manage. And it's all due to Dr. Cawley. He's created something really unique here. It's a hospital for people our society knowledge. Hopkins and have it. IDs, gentlemen. Show your badges, gentlemen. Dr. Cawley's been consulted numerous times by Scotland Yard, MI5, the OSS. Why? What do you mean? What do intelligence agencies want to consult a psychiatrist about? I guess you'll have to ask him. <laughs> 